Welcome back, fellow intellectuals, to episode 18 of Camping Buddies. Today, we unfortunately do not have Kelly with us. He is caught up at work, and we had to do it a little earlier because Miles here has to go to work later, so schedules aren't exactly lining up. Sorry we missed last week's episode. Um, We're working on it. We're the worst, we know. Yeah, we're kind of the fucking worst. <laughs> we're quirky. We're trying. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we really need to give down a better schedule for this. Um, yeah. However, uh, the silver lining into this horrible schedule of ours is that we are finally officially on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. For those kind who don't want to pay if for taking the ads off of YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good Big stuff. Big step for us, yeah. Really big fucking step. Um... I don't know I why would... we didn't do it sooner. Well, I didn't fucking know how, for starters. I've been telling <laughs> you to assumed... look into it for so long. Assumed it costed a chunk of money, because yeah, why would I... it not? I, well, yeah, I assumed it, like, costed, like, a hefty chunk. That's why I didn't do it. Like, I just didn't have, like, enough to, like, uh, do that. But, with, I'm just gonna fucking say this, uh, anyone else out there who feels like they want to start a podcast with their friends perfect uh hosting site is anchored that's how we're doing that right now uh amazing site for that it was way fucking easier than any other of the free sites that i had visited prior to anchor amazing and i think i'm actually like inclined to do that too because if you promote anchor like you can actually get monetized <laughs> so uh yeah we love we, we love fucking anchor. love anchor <laughs> <laughs> so but yeah, friend. go ahead and check it out, us out on Spotify if you're not already. Um, all the episodes will eventually be up there right now. I think we only have like four episodes up right now. Uh, that one the, through four? Uh, or did you it's, do a skip? it's one through three and then randomly 17 because 17 is what I had on my file already. Yeah. So, yeah. So are we going to have this one on Spotify before we have the gap? Yeah, pretty much. Or because I'm already going to have it. I don't have to, like, re-download it and then post it. Right. Okay. Will it be in order in the thing? Or will it be in order of what you upload? Um, 1, 2, 17, 18, <laughs> 4, 5, 6. I yeah. think I can go back and sort it. Uh, I okay. think on Spotify it might have fixed itself. On Apple Podcasts, I don't think so. Um, That's why Spotify is always better. <laughs> I, I'm not sure though. Like I, I have to. Like, oh check. yeah, it says two one seventeen. It says two one seventeen. Yeah. Two one seven. Uh, three two one seventeen. Funny. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so it does go in the order of which I post it. So this might be posted like fucking Friday then. I'm just gonna like work on posting everything else and then I'll post this one. Mm -hmm. But are you not yeah. able to download all of them at the same time? Um you're a fucking renaissance man. What the fuck? <laughs> Why have I Why not been doing that? that? <laughs> Why was that not your initial thought? <laughs> I don't know. Obvious. In my in my head, I was like, well, this is taking fucking forever. I don't know if it would be any slower if I did them all at once. It might, but you wouldn't have to, like, keep going Go back, back and, and back and back and back. Okay. You just wait one mass amount instead of multiple small segments. You're no longer from the I... Renaissance. You're from the Dark Ages. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I'm a fuck? fucking... No offense to religion, but I'm a fucking Christian. Jesus Christ, I threw away science. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Uh, no offense to religion when says his own religion what <laughs> i'm 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 actually not you guys have fucked me up honestly oh let's go wait we <laughs> let's can talk go about that <laughs> <laughs> we can talk You're about that so that's interesting <laughs> you're so fucked up what the hell at least no. he's more realistic now okay listen I still strongly believe that people should, if they do already, believe in what they believe in because 
the end of the day, it is better than feeling like there's just a void afterwards, like there's nothing. Like that's kind of fucking terrifying. Well, that's not. Like, however, there's tons of different beliefs. However, with uh, religion, like all I see is just gaps and like shit that don't add up, and like it's Bottles. just like. Yeah, plot holes, like, oh, and then there's gay people, like, we fucking hate those guys, and it's like, why? It's just, yeah, it, it wouldn't make sense for me, as open-minded as I am, to be religious, at least not, like, Christian. I mean, so. you could still be Christian, not homophobic. No, nah, that's impossible. Yeah. Shut up, Alyssa. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many... <laughs> Hey, you ever been to a Chick Fil A? <laughs> oh. oh, I've been in a Chick Fil A once. Really? It was Did you terrifying. Get, like... I thought I was gonna get hate crime. I was wearing my rainbow mask on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> she, she came in trying to start a fucking gang war. Yeah, like, why would I go in just and not wear my rainbow you? mask? <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like. Everyone thinks like Chick Fil A is homophobic, but it's really like the uppers, like the. Well, yeah, yeah, obviously it's corporate. Not all the employees. Maybe I'm some of them. But... The employees are like gay. Like I swear, one hundred percent. At the end of the day, it's just another food restaurant. The employees don't care. They're just trying to get money. <laughs> Facts. There was do like. Care, though. Some of them are like actually like religious. Like I've I've actually like encountered like a religious Chick Fil A worker. There's like mm-hmm. have a blessed day with your chicken. Uh, I don't know. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, I think um, one of my sister's friends in high school worked at Chick Fil A, and I think she said that the employees give a portion of their paycheck to the church. Oh, black. Yeah. Um, Can you opt out of that? I don't know. <laughs> I think, imagine like working at one of the most busy fast food restaurants of like all fucking time, just to give a little bit of that paycheck to God. God. Who? <laughs> to who? That, Never heard of yeah. that lady. Yeah, God is a woman. I actually like the she idea that me. God would be a woman. I don't think so. Never I'm mind. a goddess. No, you're not. God has a star. Alan star-. says I am. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> God games <laughs> on a 2070? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, no, a 2060. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, I got a 2060. Why do you not have a 3070? You're God. I don't got you're that fucking money. God. Yeah. God poor as shit. <laughs> God special. I can see it in the back. Oh, I should take that down. <laughs> I am I'm special. Down. I like it. Uh, you, oh, think... you know what I miss, Alyssa? Hmm. Your nut button. I still what got it. What the hell happened to that thing? <laughs> we talked about yeah. that the other day. She it's literally like day. frantically wow. turned it on and hit it. <laughs> it's on all the time. Really? I thought it would battery like, doesn't the battery wear out. Time. No, surprisingly, it doesn't. Yeah, you used to use that thing like fucking crazy when you were playing COD. Yeah, that's because COD really warranted it. It was a cra- <laughs> chaotic game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fuck it. Especially the lobbies and shit. Yeah. Clutching up was like a must. <laughs> I miss like good COD days. I can't go oh, back and I play know. Modern Warfare right now. Like, I'm so ass at it, but it was like a decent game. Yeah. Maybe we could get back on it um, when Modern Warfare 2 comes out. Is Modern mm-hmm. Warfare 2 the next game coming? I thought that's what you guys said in the last a past episode. I don't remember that Maybe. at all. Because, what, Vanguard was the last one? Yeah. Uh, yes. And so that was... Um, not <laughs> Infinity Ward. Infinity Ward is next, and they're doing a follow-up to the first Modern Warfare. I think Treyarch did Vanguard, Warfare. right? I think they I think did. I think that's how it goes. Like Treyarch is the Black Ops series stuff, and then Infinity Ward is the Modern Warfare stuff. Right, and then I think there's like another one in there, Sledgehammer. I think because you remember Advanced Warfare. I think it was they did that one, and I actually really liked that game. But that was like with the exosuits and shit, and then there was like Black uh... Ops Three that also had exosuits and shit. I loved that shit. Yeah. 
I don't know about the exosuits. I like ghosts. That one was cool. The story for Ghost was good. The the actual yeah. gameplay was ass, I think. I enjoyed Ghost it. was the first COD game that I played. And I played with some really? dude I met off of Omegle on the PS3. What the f- I was friends with him forever. He was like my age. I so, still have him on oh. Instagram. So when you met him on Omega, was he jerking his Turk and he's like, hey, do you No, nah, I did Cod? not have the confidence <laughs> to <laughs> do the webcam. It was always the uh just the chat. Did he do like, that? Do you remember what like the keyword search it? that you had? Um, I think I just had um either no keyword or like teen. So I could get like around my age. Hopefully. Obviously Hopefully. not always the case. Men are Predators online. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds pretty awful. Yeah, I never really got on Omega. People were obsessed with it in middle school, though. It was scary. I used it, like, <laughs> religiously every night. <laughs> I could never. Uh, and Kick. I still oh, my God, know my login, my login to my old Kick. If you go, I don't have the app, but the last time I went on it, like, years ago, it tells you how many days ago you made the account, and it was in like two thousand plus. There days. was because it's like mm-hmm. what year? Twenty sixteen or something. It came out no, no. It was way before twenty sixteen. Yeah, it was like twenty eleven. Like I think. I have no concept of time. <laughs> <laughs> All I do is sit in my desolate room. <laughs> Dude, I kind of want to re-download it and see if I could log in. There was. Yeah. Uh, looking back on the kick days, there was, I'm pretty sure, thinking about it, uh, there was a predator on me. Um, I said, I said that like it was a fucking game call yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't know how else to work that. <laughs> on me, on me. <laughs> on me. Pred? <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Like, I think I was, like, 16 or 17 at the time, and, like, there was this, like, 30-year-old chick that would, like, send me shit. I forgot how we met, but, yeah. That was weird. Thinking about it now, it's not like I, it's not like I didn't, you know, fucking like it, so it's not like I would, like, ever be like, oh, this was, like, totally wrong, oh no. He touched my no-no zone. (laughs) Yeah. So, like, I understand, like, guys can be raped, but like you, ever, you hear those stories of like the teachers sleeping with uh their students, like mm-hmm. yeah, sure yeah. they'll get arrested if that like reaches public, but that guy has to be fucking like high fiving his friends, you know what I mean? Like that yeah, has so to be kind of a fucking achievement. There's um a couple things I've watched. There's that show a teacher on Hulu oh, and it's based I on a real story. That. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good and like. In the first, I don't know if it was season, but, like, um, leading up to her getting arrested, he's, like, all, like, he's happy. Yeah, I think there's only you know, one like, season. Yeah, he's, like, in love with her, and then it does a time skip to, like, five or ten years later. Yeah. And then that's when he's acting like he's actually, like, damaged Messed and traumatized it. by it. Because, like, what, he had a little he, brother. Because he, like, finally realized. Yeah, like, he got to the age that she was when she was... When they were doing stuff and then he looked at like someone that was his age when they were doing stuff and it was his little brother and he was like man that's so fucking young like i couldn't picture being this age and being with someone this age and he actually saw it as like a fucked up thing so i can like kind of see that like but again like for a from the uh female to male like i'm just like oh that's fucking that's just like an achievement unlocked like cougar Mm -hmm. town like that's awesome sure Mm -hmm. but then like you get to that age and you look at and you personally a dude look at a boy or a girl the age that you were when that happened and yeah you're gonna feel like that's kind of fucking weird or at least i hope you do because otherwise you're kind of sick but like and like it, there is an argument to to say like obviously the teacher is a little bit sick for that in general too, but at the end of the day it's still kind of a fucking achievement for you, I think. Yeah. That would have been fucking awesome. 
I'm gonna be real. <laughs> I I um I also watched this other movie. It's got Adam Sandler and Andy Samberg, and mm. uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like. So the story is Adam Sandler, when he was a younger kid, he was in eighth, seventh or eighth grade. He hooked up with his teacher, and they were like regularly fucking, and then they got caught, and she was pregnant. And then, like, she had she got locked up. She had the kid, and then he, his dad had to raise the baby until he was eighteen. And like, he fucked the kid up super bad, like, because he was such a young kid raising another kid. He literally like fed him candy and junk food and shit all the My time, and raising me. <laughs> yeah, gave the kid diabetes at like fucking eleven. Yeah, and like made him like 400 pounds and shit and then like it's crazy they don't really show like the the fucked up side of it like they just make the whole thing like a joke it's a it's a comedy movie it was actually pretty funny but damn it's fucked up there's, like, it shows like that compared to the teacher show completely different vibe mm. damn I recommend it I, you seem to gravitate towards a lot of teacher movies there. <laughs> it's just what's on. The example you think gave. <laughs> mm-hmm. He was on topic. They're popular things. Speaking of popular things, how about that fucking Chris Rock, Chris Breezy? Oh my goodness. Bro. Mm-hmm. I uh, when I first saw it, I literally thought it was fake. It looked like a stage it, slap. It looked like Chris Rock moved so does. quick, <laughs> and it still kind of does. But based off of like the reaction, because I couldn't, all, all the clips never showed Chris Rock after he got slapped. It just ended at the slap. Right but after like his reaction, it kind of looked genuine. Yeah, I was like, I I don't know what it is, but I feel like. Will Smith is actually that crazy motherfucker that would do that. Also, it's I like how really he like went crazy. for a slap and not like a punch. Yeah, it was like it's weird. disrespectful, but also polite. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been funnier if it was a backhand. Oh god, that would have been fucking hilarious. I, I yeah, feel I don't think anyone would have taken it serious. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Holy shit. Well, no one's taking it serious. Everyone's doing, like, the Batman Robin thing, like, as a comparison, you know? Or, oh, like, Batman slaps mixed, the shit out of Robin. <laughs> mixed reviews what I've been seeing. Like, half people are like, oh, how would R- Chris Rock know that Jada has a illness that's making her lose her hair? And the other half's like, well, Jada's been very open about it. Yeah. Pretty sure it's been talked about before. Right. Yeah. It wasn't like a big secret. But also, it's Hollywood. Everyone's going to make a uh, fucking joke, especially the comedian hosting yeah, the fucking... Like, like, Chris Rock is a comedian. It's his job to make some jokes. Offensive. Yeah. Yes. But like, what? But you shouldn't really joke about someone's illnesses. Like, right. <laughs> this guy's got fucking there, cancer. What yeah, a loser. there should be a line. Yes. Mm. Definitely I, shouldn't make fun of disabled and illnesses that are like terminal but But like also targeting her isn't like an awful thing to me since like the whole reason like will even did that shit i swear to god was just like he's actually insane because of that lady i didn't i didn't know he was unfaithful in their relationship and that's why she was unfaithful i don't know if that's even the case still all I know is that she was unfaithful. They went out on it on TV, uh, and he was literally crying his fucking eyes out. And like now he has this whole like YouTube series where he's trying to find himself or some shit after they play that clip. And like I've been hearing like these crazy fucking rumors. Like, uh, like whenever Will Smith texts someone, he's like he like plays a prank on them or some shit, and like shows like someone else fucking his wife, and he's like, "Haha, isn't that so funny?" Like, the bro, right. what the fuck? That doesn't sound right. I don't know. I don't know if it was like like random people he texts or like actually like rel- like actual relatives. It's insane. 
But that's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Like, I genuinely think that that lady has made Will Smith insane. So. Yeah, they're both. Maybe. Been together a that's long love, time, though. right? Why have they been together though? Like, if they he was unfaithful, if he was unfaithful, why would she stay? If she was unfaithful and he was bawling out his eyes out about it on TV, why the fuck would he stay? Who is forcing these I mean, people to stay together? It cannot some be them. People see like right? marriage and love differently. Like, yeah. they're like, oh, we're gonna have our troubles, but we need to work through them and make this work. Because commitment and, like, you know. A lot of people don't get divorced because religion. Um, A lot of people stick in it for their kids. Or, you know, maybe they didn't get a prenup and Will Smith doesn't want to lose all his money to her. Possibly. There's a lot of reasons. I feel like... (laughs) I feel like that last one might be the reason, and like Will's just putting on a really big face for it. I don't fucking know. Right. But like, like her name's Jada, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't like Jada seems like like a like a fucking ball stomper. Like she literally seems like I I keep on seeing memes where it's just like. Uh, Will's like, hey, you like that baby? And shit, I mean, and she's like, shit, yeah, that was pretty cool. And he's like, yeah, you don't gotta say. It's just like, and then it like cuts to her being like, yeah, it was pretty cool how Chris Rock took that weak ass slap. That's a real man. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like Will Smith crying again. Like, fuck. Uh, it's just so fucked, man. I, I don't I don't like if someone's not happy they really shouldn't be together as like especially yeah. publicly like that holy shit. Uh, I do. What do you think Will Smith's next move is? Do you think he's actually gonna get any roles? Do you think like do you think anyone's gonna want to uh, yeah. give him any roles after that? Because oh, he yeah. was like trending on Twitter, or do you think he's like not gonna get any work for a while? Because I don't think this. he's gonna get canceled over this. No, probably not get canceled. I don't. Th- I'm I, sure it's a big deal. I'm sure Chris Rock will say something like, "Me and Will talked and we're fine." Like, I don't think Will will apologize publicly or something or make a big deal about it. But I'm sure it'll blow. He over. did. I think in oh, his speech he, he apologized. Oh, I actually didn't. Like see his when speech. he got his award, he said, "Uh, like I'm sorry," or "I apologize for like." that and then started talking about like you know the movie that he was like nominated for no Mm -hmm. i think in it he um he plays a father of two girls and i don't remember like if he's like supposed to be like a strict or like a crazy dad or something but he said like haha life or art imitates life and like he was saying like he was kind of acting like that role when he Fucking Chris Breezy, Chris Breezy, Chris. What? Did I say that? Breezy. When he Rock. hit Chris Rock, <laughs> when he rocked Chris Rock. He was Rock. like, "Yeah." You cannot keep <laughs> making name jokes, moles. <laughs> I, I can. Well, yeah, he. I think. I guess he was saying like, "Art imitates life." Oh, and that like, he, he was, was playing like, that role he, so much that he just, in a way, it was part of him for a second. Okay. I don't know. No, that's like actual insane. That's like Heath Ledger insanity. Like No, that's... not like not like he was becoming the role or anything. He was just saying no. like like it was like a similar thing like Even like you protective. see things that are in movies and then you see things that are real life and they're like similar like things happen. Oh. Yeah, in my head, I was literally like, Will Smith has been in a, like a few action movies. I imagine I like that's why I was surprised it was a slap. I was like, this guy went for a slap when he's done like the whole like punch and kick and shit like that. Like, I'm just surprised. Like, I I understand kind of why it was a slap because it was brief, but it was like to get the point across. But also, yeah. like, imagine if, like, it was just full hands. Like, imagine if Will was just fucking smithing up some storm right there. Like, Wanted more than one to hit. Goes in mm-hmm. for a full combo. Yeah, a fucking fatality style. Like, <laughs> fuck. You just see enemy felled at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Rock's uh, health bar starts going down. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. Yeah. That'd be fucking wild. Wow, we're gamers. We're quirky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I I don't think anyone even like really gave a shit about the Oscars up until like that news. I broke. didn't even know it was happening. Until That's I what I was saying. Like, me neither. Like I had no fucking idea until uh, um... I was told by a friend and um, fucking mm-hmm. when Kelly sent that to the group chat, I was like, "Yo, what?" <laughs> yeah. So. Apparently, Jason Derulo fell downstairs at the Oscars, too. He's still alive? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know and he was he, like, anymore. He fell, fell kind of hard. Like, he was upside down on those stairs in the air from what the photo I saw. So, Jason F in chat Derulo. for him. Imagine being outshined by Will Smith bitch slapping Chris Rock <laughs> when you could be I think that's a blessing. <laughs> How embarrassing that he fell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, unless he did it on purpose to see if that would gain more traction. <laughs> He's like, it's like I'm gonna take you. one for the team. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Who is even like acting else? Like, who do we know? Like, Everyone. any of the winners? No. No. I don't even know like the categories like- for an Oscar. Yeah, I don't. I don't know either. I don't pay attention. Don't There's know. another award show in a couple of weeks. The Grammys, right? Grammys. Grammys is Grammys. music, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, now I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I'm pretty I sure really Grammys. Is, I'm pretty sure Grammys is music, and Oscars is uh, is uh, acting and shit. And then I think Tony's is Broadway, right? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That I have no idea about. I have yeah, no idea about Broadway. It's called, like, EGOT. Um, that's all the, the big awards. Tonys, Oscars, Grammys, and what's E? I don't know what that one is. Emmy? Emmys? Emmys? Yeah, Emmys. Oh, fuck, that one might be music. Fucking what was Emmys? Maybe there's two movie ones. I just work here. I just work here. Yeah, seriously. What, the fuck? Pretty good what else can you be know. famous for? <laughs> um. Yeah, not much else. Um. Got me. I don't know. <laughs> you know, you could be famous, uh, for fucking Kim Kardashian. Oh, ski. <laughs> <laughs> We love Pete Davidson. We stan him. Yeah. Um yeah. everyone's like Everyone was saying that um Kanye and Pete fighting just makes no sense because like Kim is nothing to fight about. <laughs> like she's not that like who fucking cares about the Kardashians anymore? Like, actually, genuinely, who the fuck cares? Mm, not us, but every other white woman on earth. <laughs> why? Moms. Like, why? I don't know. Do they? Is their show even still going on? It is. I think. So. I think. Um, oh god! Is I know. That like season that... twenty-five now. <laughs> It's like the fucking Simpsons, but it's just these annoying ass fucking. Oh, every time I look at Kim, I actually like it's actually kind of gross to me. Like those lips are just so fucking. He big. does look lips aren't even the worst. Every single time I see her, something looks significantly different about her. It's so weird. She's doing a lot. Mm, although she's like switching it up and trying to do the natural stuff again. Like all the Kardashians are dissolving their lip injections and their ass yeah, it's just like a deflated yeah. balloon flapping right? yeah i can't <laughs> wait to see this new special season where they're normal fucking people jesus christ mm. but um speaking of the kardashians um i think it's kylie and i forget who she's with it's a rapper um so i get it ah uh, maybe they already have one kid, and they're about to have another one. Oh no! They already had the second kid on the day after their first kid's birthday. In uh, well, it was supposed to be named Wolf, 
But I guess they got, like, bullied into changing it. Yeah, they... She just changed it recently. She said, oh, by the way, his name's not Wolf anymore. Yeah. Haha. And then, Mm -hmm. I don't know what she changed it to, though. I don't remember, but... I feel like it was something else stupid. I think it started with the J, but I don't remember. It it looked like, um... Similar to how Khaled's name, like, DJ Khaled is spelled. Like, there was, like, a H-L-I-D in there, I believe. Jalid. Yeah, something like that. Khaled. But I don't know how to pronounce it. Khaled? Because. Khaled. Yeah, Maybe. It, it could be, it could be a, a bunch of different ways. So I don't know. Like, a DJ Khaled and also the artist Khalid spelled the same. Pronounced different. Yeah, I always was, like, so fucking confused about that. I was just like, so there's DJ Khaled and there's Khaled. <laughs> D- there's Khalid. DJ Khalid and Khalid. <laughs> DJ Khalid. Um, internet's saying that it, the baby's name is still Wolf. Oh. Well, my source wasn't Kylie herself, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, so Travis Scott. Oh, Travis Scott. It was Tyga before Travis. That's what it was. So they have Stormy and Wolf. Wow. These guys are just naming some fucking Pokemon right now. I like the trying name to, Stormy. I saw a meme they're trying to build the X-Men. <laughs> yes. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. It's not bad. Um, Stormy and uh, Wolverine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um... I mean, like, imagine growing up with the name Stormy, though. Like, yeah, it's kind of cool at I first. Knew Stormy's a not girl right. named Stormy. No, Stormy way. Wood. I like the I like the last name Stormy Wood Wood. for some reason. Really? Yeah, like I feel like Wood like kind of adds an extra oomph to shit. I think it's a real basic white last name. You know, like how when the settlers came and then your last name was your job. Yeah, that's yeah. why mine. That's why mine is Miller. I own yeah. the Mills. <laughs> wood. They just uh, chopped so, wood. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Storm is a cool name, though. Yeah, I think it's cute. One of my horses, or my grandma's horses, was named Stormy. I think it's a good pet name. <laughs> definitely a cute pet yeah, name. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I just uh oh, you know, last night actually kind of fucking sorry I keep like kind of phasing out by the way. I don't mean to like put this on both of you. Um but yeah, so okay. fuck you. Um <laughs> One of the other things we talked about last night was like uh random names in our phone uh for the future and i was like looking for my list of like oh. kid names because mm-hmm. i thought i had that list but for some reason the only list i have is future pet names and there's only one <laughs> oh name. yeah and there's only <laughs> one name on that list and it's licky <laughs> pants and <laughs> that's so good so yeah <laughs> oh can i tell you guys my list of cat names i like them how long um, is it it's very short. Like, ten maximum. I won't do all of them. No, go for it. Uh, Pandora, uh, Precious, Nova, Bamboo, and then the rest of them are food. Uh, noodle, Spaghetti, <laughs> Parmesan, <laughs> and Cheese. <laughs> what about Meatball? Just, Meatball's cute. Oh, Meatball is cute. I'm writing that I'm down. Write that down. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing for Parmesan, like a, like a light orange cat you know mm-hmm. and then like garfield <laughs> <laughs> my god I think like garfield's really favorite meal was lasagna so lasagna that's fitting i would name mm-hmm. a cat lasagna i'd say it just like oh that too lasagna. Lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> wow spaghetti come here spaghetti sketty <laughs> sketty alan wants to name our cat sauce Ooh, <laughs> not bad actually. I'm like, yeah, I'll call him saucy. I like that. Where's the sauce? Where's the sauce? Oh, that's perfect. The sauce is actually going to be his government name. 
the <laughs> sauce. <laughs> Where is the sauce? <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Hmm. Uh, I don't have a list of pet names, just actual baby names. One thing I want as a pet name. Animals. I do. <laughs> the only pet name I can think of that I actually wanted was Mochi. Mm-hmm. For a Kimti Cat. Kimti Cat. She has a turtle named Mochi. Yeah, Mochi's the vibe. Mochi, Mochi fucks. Hell yeah. I want, <laughs> I want a little French bulldog named either Piggy, Piglet, or Thor. He just wants to name his dog after my cat. We've been over this a million times. Okay, yeah, but when Hector wants to have a fucking cat named Mochi, the world's just totally fine. I want a piglet, and all of a sudden I'm copying. There's only one piglet. You've seen the boy. He is so cute. He is chunk. (laughs) He is so fat. (laughs) He is so cute. Jesus. Fluffy. Oh, another chunk! I love that chunk. Let me see the that chunk. Fluffy? So yes. Show us He's the not chunk. in here. I Why just would... him down the hallway. Well, then go get him. The f- Where's my kitten to get? Oh, Actually, grab your pillow of day. Titan and show, and show the podcast. I've shown it before. <laughs> I don't think you've shown it on the podcast. I have. I have. I think he's always been back here. <laughs> I always assumed your dog was gonna be white, even though I've seen it many times. I always forget what your dog looks like. He's a brindle. I always think that he's white. He's just double sided. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. I, I thought it'd be the really... back of him. No. <laughs> his ass. <laughs> How thoughtful of a gift. That's so funny. Yeah, who got it for you? Where? Hmm? I said, who got you that? That's cute. Sam. It's a Christmas present. Aww. Yep. Yeah, for Alyssa's uh, future birthday, uh, when Tigger's dead, Alan's just gonna stuff Tigger. Yeah, she's gonna get taxidermied. Like, actually? I want to. <laughs> We've had this conversation. It's kind of fucking weird. It's a little weird, yeah. <laughs> It's not weird. I love her. Yeah. And but, I'm yeah, gonna can, keep her. You're gonna forever. have to leave her behind, but like it's it's okay to let go. Nope. Where I will you... cry right this second just thinking about her dying. There Where are tears forming currently. Behind? Right here on my desk. <laughs> oh my god. I've never ever I'm visited gonna you cry. again. <laughs> you, could, you could just like cremate her and make her into a diamond instead of oh, keeping her dead body. Oh, I could put her body. ashes in a necklace. That's mm-hmm. a lot better than having or a stuffed two earrings. cat on your fucking desk. I'd, I'd yeah. far prefer I think that. any option is better. I'll get her paws only. <laughs> a little keychain? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh, this is like a necrophiliac. <laughs> I'm not. Jesus. Kelly would have his two cents to put in right now. He'd be like, girl, what the fuck? I am glad Kelly's not here <laughs> to say no. <laughs> <laughs> be weird i'm proud of this decision fuck off Dude, this is have you guys seen that cat pot roast on tiktok what oh so there's this cat pot roast um well the cat recently passed but before they passed they were like just like a really dirty looking cat because they didn't have any teeth they lost them and so they never cleaned themselves because their mouth hurt before they lost all their teeth so now they just refused to groom um and so they passed and everyone always joked that the cat looked like they were taxidermied. So the owner is like actually getting the cat taxidermied and keeping it. Why would you taxidermy it off of clout in a joke? Jesus Christ. Yeah. I I don't I don't think she taxidermied her other cats that died, so she's definitely doing this one for clout, but I don't That's know. pretty weird. Uh 
pet owners. People use Jesus animals Christ. for clout all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's but the when they're alive, like, oh, here, look at my silly, goofy dog, Titan. <laughs> you just like how he's just sitting in your lap right now. It's, so sweet. <laughs> it's like a tiny little trophy. He's a cute little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for audio only listeners, there's like a really generically cut tiny pillow, and it's basically just like a PNG picture of his dog on it. Yep. Cut into like, shape. It's not life size. Just he's a big boy. Know. Wait, do you see his he's dick in it? <laughs> Ew, I hope not. Um, just a little bit. <laughs> oh, just hell little yeah! Little tip. Hell yeah! Thankfully, it's not like a straight-on angle. That's she awkward. She should have gotten. <laughs> they should have gotten him to like red rocket for the picture. Oh. <laughs> Imagine like cutting out that pillow. You're just staring at a red rocket the whole time. I think God. if I was the person that made that and I got that order, I would delete that order. Just <laughs> reject. Yeah, any other pictures? Actually, <laughs> yeah. Speaking of red rockets, dude, Ghost, my sister's dog, so horny right now. <laughs> I don't know if I told Moles about this last night, but I think it's the season. It's like mating season or some shit. So it's like hormones are amped up. And we brought um, Sam's dog Velma over yesterday, and he was nonstop humping the air for an hour. Oh my gosh. He was going crazy with it. Like, just looking at her, he'd be humping the air. He'd be chasing her the whole time, sticking his nose all the way up in her fucking cooch. He was a nasty little, dirty little freak. Nasty little, dirty little freak. Oh, so you're so gross. Mm. (laughs) Mm. I mean, the cat was doing it later that day, too, with the other cat. That's why I think it's the season. Mm, Maybe. Because I've never seen that cat. Oh, shit. I don't know. It's weird. Because it's getting warmer? I think it's just like spring. Oh. Mating season, I don't know. Spring, time to fuck. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's 6 a.m., dear, time to fuck. Spring yeah. cleaning out these balls. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> spring cleaning out this Elden nut. <laughs> God. Oh, I'm going to make a joke, but mine's yeah. not nearly as good. There you go. Uh, Bring it back. There you go. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I can't believe that was just like popped into your head. <laughs> Spring <laughs> cleaning out these nights. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's just nature. Um fuck i did we had like one more thing oh yeah we want to talk about elden ring actually i actually want to bring this up i want to bring up the fact that okay so everyone i'm pretty sure knows that you can legally become a lord what uh everyone doesn't know that is because of elden ring if you look up how to legally become a lord it auto fills because so many people are looking up how to legally become a lord because so many people, people are trying to before. be, yeah, but not that much. It was the very top search, like it t- it filled you in. You should Lord. look up um that Google stats that shows the graph of the years that things are searched, like um Mariah Carey song. It always spikes in December. Oh, sure, 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 yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that would yeah. that would make a lot of sense. Actually, I I, I want to be. Um, the Kardashians, um, which one was it? Courtney? Yeah. I think it was Courtney Kardashian. She was married to Scott Disick. Yeah. He became legally a lord. So his name is Lord Dick, Lord Disick. I don't know. That is. I think he just did it for fun. Like he got knighted by the queen just to become a lord. Yeah, you could do it that way or you could just buy a literal foot of land and just become a lord uh 40 pounds by the way worth it in my opinion um what you ca- you can't change it on your driver's license or pa- or pass well no i think you can change it on your passport but you can't change it on your driver's license 
Uh, because America doesn't use that. Yeah, or some shit like that. But, like, legally, everywhere else and just in general, like, you can legally be the Elden Lord if you name that for the land Elden. Oh my god. So... That is the nerdiest shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's, like, auto-filling with the search, because, like, now you know that there's, like, a million Elden Lords out there. <laughs> and, like, all these, like, sites yeah. that are, like, sh uh, that, like, tell you how to become a lord are probably just sitting there, like, That's our fucking 50th Elden Lord today! <laughs> mm. I'd do it. If I had the money, I would definitely do it. Yeah, if I just had some throwaway money, I'd absolutely become a lord for fucking god knows what. Um, I think it's uh, really funny that because of Elden Ring, now me and Hector like put Elden in front of everything that we do. <laughs> it's taking Elden Break, Elden Nap, Elden, piss. Elden Shit, Elden Piss, yeah. <laughs> Elden Gamer Break. <laughs> Yeah. Um, all yeah. that shit. All those Elden things. Rest. Yep. Well, My burger. I haven't played. I haven't touched Apex in so fucking long. Yeah. I know. Uh, season. This season is great, but matchmaking has been goddamn awful from what I have been playing. The worst. The actual worst. <laughs> I hate running into four K twenty bomb. Diamond Predator Grandmaster fucking Octane's Wraiths. Jesus Christ. It's so insanely bad right now for the matchmaking. They need to fix that. Um, I'm also just waiting for Cross Progression to come out. Uh, but in the news of Apex, uh, Bipto got his heirloom. That's pretty cool. It's a really cool heirloom. Still kind of pissed that Wraiths doesn't have cool animations like everyone else's. But whatever. He's got so many. Uh, the skins look pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't seem like a whole lot of legendary What does shit this his heirloom look like? It's a knife? It's, um, it's, it's a like sword, a katana. Like a katana. Mm, right. And it like folds out and it has a fidget toy on it and a taser. Oh. And it has a little compartment where he keeps a picture of his family. <gasps> That's kind of neat. And then like one of his inspects is just like him like playing with the uh, hack, his drone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And um, one of his melee animations is him using his drone to hit. Oh really? It's yeah. like the pork chop thing for Mirage. Yeah, I love that. I love that he just hits you with the pork chop sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's where we're at right now. They they leaked the next uh legend, and this is like the biggest leak so far. Like we have actual like gameplay of the legend and shit. Like, it's insane. Oh, who's the next one? I don't know if they're real, though. Uh, Castle, I think his name is. He looks pretty wild. Oh, right. He's white, right? Uh, yeah. His suit is white, I think. Oh. I think he kind of looks like Mirage if Mirage had, like, girth. Girth. I don't know how else to say it. Like, if, if it was a beefy man? Yeah. Right. Ew. He's on the smaller side. Yeah. So, yeah, his abilities look cool. I think I like it. I don't. I Imagine him really mixed with a rampart would be probably pretty good. He basically is a rampart. He doesn't have a turret. <laughs> yeah. I forget what his other ability yeah. was, though. Yeah, what does he do, actually? So oh, I think he, he puts down a shield. Hold. So his ultimate is he jumps and puts down this, like, ginormous barricade for his team. Yep. Uh, and then his tack, I think, is literally just, like, holding up an arm shield. Uh, but it doesn't... I mean, it's it's, not it's like, kind of like Lifeline's force field when she used to have one. Oh, like but that like, big? It's a little bigger. It's bigger. Yeah. You know how like for Montang is for you know how Montang is for uh Siege? He's Reinhardt? Yeah, it's like Reinhardt, actually. That's an even better example. Or uh uh Brigida. Yeah, he Brigida. just has two different types of shields, and I think it's kinda lame. 
Why do we need another we shield? Don't. I think we need more heals. Yeah. Yep. It's kind of stupid. I feel like they needed to add the support first. Mm hmm. Damn. Um, That's disappointing. Yeah. Yep. Fuck you, Apex. <laughs> Unless you want to sponsor us, then we are all fucking about it. Then I love a lifeline. <laughs> a lifeline, my favorite legend. Champion challenger. Champion, Champion challenger. challenger. Yeah. All right. Well, um, unfortunately, we do have to cut this episode kind of short. Uh, we are at like what fifty minutes or some shit right now. Oh no, a little bit less because Hector fucked up the intro. Um, anyway, but thank you guys for listening to this episode of Camping Buddies. We miss Kelly dearly. He's Thank coming you. back, we promise. Rest in peace. Yeah, oh. he's dead, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. Um, nothing else really to say other than if you were listening to this on YouTube, go ahead and check out Spotify and or Apple Podcasts. For the rest of the episodes it's a little bit more convenient for you guys and free so it's you know it's just all around some pretty cool stuff um support us by subscribing leave a comment on uh what you think needs to change in apex and how you think we that need slap was to do nick uh, cage nick cage and amy Cra schumer but... how do i keep schumer. fucking forgetting these things okay nicholas cage is smooth down there he has nothing <laughs> I, I don't even think if he had anything it would be large yeah shriveled up yeah absolutely definitely has foreskin still though if we have to i think it's only I foreskin think i think he like has like the shell of a dick oh my god <laughs> it's just like this like little like deflated balloon it's not even like anything inside of it I These hate him so, so mean much. to this guy. <laughs> he doesn't wow. deserve it. <laughs> he doesn't deserve a penis. <laughs> You've lost you your penis privileges. <laughs> you know what? It doesn't matter what he's got. He's got a cage on it, so... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? And Amy I Schumer, thought... her clit Amy is like the Schumer. size of a dick. I thought we were talking about areolas. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. Jeez, I think she's got salamis. Oh, definitely yeah, salamis. Some, some real between pepperoni and salami. Yeah. Big. Great yeah, consensus. I think big. this is like the most unanimous, honestly, except for Hector's opinion on Nick Cage. Fuck you for that. Okay. I'm just... <laughs> you you don't even get to say your opinion on it. That's I'm, how it is. I'm not, no. Or if Nicolas Cage somehow has the most minuscule of a penis, it's definitely not circumcised. Yeah, no way. Well, okay. Who's next then? Um, um, I picked pretty much both of those, and Honky picked the ones before that. We've been wanting mm -hmm. to do like cartoon characters, like just fictional characters. Oh, yeah. Um, Cora. I think yeah. Cora. Okay. Uh, okay. For the girl. And then. Um, shit. Tanjiro. No. Mm. I don't want to do him. Inosuke? He's a child. Yeah. So, well, so is fucking Cora, isn't she? She's like. I thought she was 18 aged... or 19. Yeah. Oh. Or older. Like, she's not doing school strictly Avatar stuff. I I thought she was, like, at least 18. Especially since they found her when she was, like, a kid. Yeah, and there's and a time skip. And skipped past all that. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Different either. boy. Just pick a different boy. Yeah. A fucking... Uh, um, I'm trying to think of, like, from an anime. Uh, Can I pick the boy, then, if you're taking this long? Levi Ackerman. Alyssa, do you even watch the show? I know who he is. I've seen Alan's watching it, or was watching it. So I know who Levi is. And if you're not cool with that, then I'm going to say one of the Straw Hats. Levi Ackerman! <laughs> <laughs> 
Yep. Cora no and Levi piece. Ackerman. All right. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Like I said, support us and all that fucking jazz. Check out Anchor if you want to start your own podcast. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. Goodbye.